Hello everybody, Minute Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the United States. In the last episode, we prepared for war with Brazil. We justified that war and we have begun. And we begin pushing into the Amazon River Basin here. And uh, we are rolling. It's going to be a bit of a slog as we push the jungle or the rainforest. Um, so, I think it's classified as jungle. Yep. Oh, well, you can kind of interchange those words a little bit. Not really. Um, but, yeah, we're going to continue to roll through here. And then uh, we'll see how things go. The issue is going to be supply, as it usually is. But we'll get it done. Actually, I don't need these garrison forces out here anymore. Um, oh, sorry, I just thought it crossed my mind. Um, so I'll continue to roll on that. I've been working on the Navy, getting the Navy built up some more, getting new divisions trained. So we got a whole new medium tank army set up there. Yes, sir. I really want to get um, some just mechanized and you know, motorized infantry. But we haven't had the army experience. Let's see, how much would it take to say, uh, let's remove this, let's make this motorized artillery. Um, motorized infantry, uh, motorized infantry. Motorize that artillery. And let's get them some light tank destroyers. Alright, we need to do this so that it's duplicated. Motorized infantry, motorized infantry, uh, motorized artillery. Let's say I could go with self propelled artillery. Like, um, light self propelled artillery. And instead of doing heavy tank destroyers, we stay mobile with some light. Yeah, no, light tank destroyers there. Um, field hospital, support anti-air, recon, logistics, signals. Yeah, I could do... Motorized Infantry Division. Save it. Alright, let's train it up. Actually, uh, let's deploy them North Carolina. There we go. Low manpower. Really? Okay. Still short steel. I don't think there's any more improvements that we can make to our steel production. No. We're playing gray as what? Amphibious invasion stuff. Okay, no.
enforce Monroe Doctrine against the British Empire and demand liberation of American territories. Demand liberation of American territories. Demand transfer of American holdings. We'll probably be doing that here once we're ready to actually, you know, go to war with the Axis. But we have a lot of work to do before we get there. Yeah, look at how slow everybody's moving. Alright, are we losing anything? Um... Mechanized, it looks to be a little short. Um, so let's throw some stuff into the mechanized equipment. Steel. I guess we can buy a little from Germany. Go for it. Primarily, what we're going to get out of Brazil is rubber. Yeah. Supply is really low. I mean, really low. And we're not getting good mission efficiency out of our air supply because we don't have an airport anywhere nearby. Alright. What could I potentially do about this? Let's get some infrastructure built. Because they, there's zero infrastructure there right now. I think that's my only real option. It says we're non aligned. Ah, we need to have a constitutional convention. Do it. There we are, Confederated States of America. I was figuring that there was going to be a, a some decision there. They would change us. We're now fascist. There we go. Officially fascist. Is somebody executing a naval invasion? 
It looks like it. The Italians. <laughs> the colors are almost indistinguishable. Yeah, the issue is that we can't supply our troops. So they have, like, no organization because... William Dudley Pelly challenges Douglas MacArthur. Okay. With the Boston Insurrection finally at an end, which has been a while now, many in the government are unsure how to proceed. MacArthur's government of national defense was originally envisioned to only last until the end of the war. However, the world around the Confederated States of America has only grown more hostile, and we may soon find ourselves at, once again at war, which we are. Fascist leader William Dudley Pelly has publicly called for a return to lawful and orderly government. Well, thank you, MacArthur, for his service. Pointing to the surge in support for his movement during the war, Pelly clearly considers himself predestined for the position of president and leader of America. Citing his services to the country in the leadership of the recent war and to aviation in general, famous aviator Charles Lindbergh has also thrown his hat into the ring noting the divisive nature of the two main candidates. Lindbergh believes he is the best person to unite and inspire the country to overcome its differences and return to its former greatness. In an uncharacteristic show of humility, Douglas MacArthur has offered to step down should the public opinion demand it. The American people look to us to see how the rest of the administration considers the issue. Douglas MacArthur retires. Republic still has need of him. Ask Charles Lindbergh to form a government. Uh, I don't really know what the potential... Uh, ask Charles Lindbergh to form a government. There we go. All right, we got some new anti-aircraft guns. Let's get those going. And we got new naval bombers. Let's get those going. All right, so those are done. Rocket artillery. We might have more pressing needs. Like getting a lot of these support companies done. Uh, we need naval versions of our fighters. Alright, we sunk a cruiser. Game-based stability, game-based war support. Change in popularity of fascism. Oh, this doesn't actually cost us anything. Paramil paramilitary training. Army experience gain. We'll run a couple of those. Let me guess. Steel. Yes. 
Alright, these guys are giving us nothing, so let's... Come on. Can Italy send us some steel? There we go. Looks like the Germans have successfully invaded. I mean, that may have been a better idea than trying to push to the Amazon. Um, but that's good. We got some distraction going. We got some uh, British divisions out there. They are being useful. We're getting some infrastructure in there. Control of incoming edge provinces, we have full control of that. I'm not getting any air supply. Again, it's a result of the fact we don't have. Or do we now? Um, can we reposition those guys there? They actually took... There's an airbase there. Let's improve mission efficiency slightly. actually getting a little bit of air supply now. A very, very, very small amount. Alright, you know what? Switch back to aggressive. Can we improve our logistics companies? Yes. Improve our logistics companies. Caliber arm piercing shell. Improve light batteries. Yeah, I think our only real option is just to wait for this uh, infrastructure to get built so we can actually. Basically, we need to build roads. So the aggressive, uh, the aggressive stuff is not going to really help there. Are there Turkish volunteers? Turkish and Iranian volunteers in Brazil. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, 
Oh, really? You guys lost your port? Douglas BTD Destroyer. Let's get that going. I don't think that ever actually entered production, if I remember correctly. Non aggression pack from Peru. You know what? No. No, I'm not signing non aggression packs. There's a port right there. You guys should just march over there and grab it while you can. <sighs> Silly AI. Um, hmm. Where are my Marines? Attention. There's my Marines. Can you guys schedule a naval invasion? I mean, where, where are they actually located? Yeah, schedule a naval invasion. To retake that port. 84 days. Well, we'll give it a try. Oh, they managed to get reinforcements in there. Alright, you can get some stuff. Organization first. Let's see, what can you grab? I guess organization first. Charismatic. Um, I'm say infantry expert, but... Infantry export, sure, I'll go with it. it up. Infantry expert. All in. You're also going to grab infantry experts. And. Capture ratio gain. I guess we'll give him Fortress Buster. Up. You should get Infantry Expert as well. I'll grab that. Oh, better signal companies. You, you only have Gorilla Fighter and Trenchman Speed. Uh, All in. All right, nothing there. All in. Yep, Germans being thrown back because they did not retake their port when they should have.
And we're working on it. 30 days in. Alright, how is supply looking? Still... Still an issue. to improve our ship technology. All right, is there anything else? Yeah, they need some battleships, I think. Um, Douglas TBD Destroyer. Done. Or BTD Destroyer. Um, we need jet engines. Forgot that rockets lead to that. Did I? I'll check it here in a sec. No, we haven't researched the patent. And continue to work on those support companies. thing is, even if this stuff gets improved out the max... Previous bottleneck infrastructure in the Windward Islands. And I have no control over that. We just have too much stuff down here. Okay. So, let's see. Let's get our tanks out of here. Let's follow the tanks back. That should help take some load off, and the tanks are not really are going to, not really going to be that useful in the jungle terrain anyway. Oh, looks like the Germans did manage to retake the port. Good job. Attention. All right then. Ready to move. What kind of supply are we looking at over there? Not a ton. Um. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to remove that. And let's see if I can... 
do a naval invasion there. Do it as soon as you can. I don't have enough. All right. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go convoy raiding out there. That'll take care of that problem. You guys transfer over there. Make you a patrol. And this is uh, what? Patrol group five? So our armor's out of there. And that is helping. There's our new mechanized infantry army. Not mechanized, motorized. Doing for medium tanks. You still have upgrades to do. We have tons and tons and tons of artillery. So let's move five of those factories to our. Heavy tank destroyers. Let's improve our heavy batteries for our battleships. Let's go ahead and switch these guys. Yes, sir. Ready to move. Back over. Can we make any headway whatsoever? Doesn't really look like it. All right. Ready, sir. Ready to move. 
I think I'm probably gonna have to pull another army out of here. Get him out of there. Okay, the British invaded there, but there's no port. So they're just gonna get worn out if something else doesn't happen. I have another 40 days before I can actually get that naval invasion off. Alright, they have... Uh, no, we're gonna go with logistics company. There we go. And what are they gonna want me to do here? Build an additional level of infrastructure in Montana. Uh, Montana, huh? There you go. Yep, Brits got wiped out because they didn't invade in the right spot. Alright, well. We're going to go ahead. We're going to end the episode here. I mean, supply's still not good. We got too many German and Italians over here. What I may do is actually pull all of my troops, all of my troops off of this front. Because it's not going anywhere. See if this naval invasion can get me where I need to be and start pushing from there instead. So I think that might be our plan here. Yeah, let's just uh, let's delete your orders. Let's get you guys out of there. Move out. All right. Yeah. I think that's going to be our change of plans here. All right. So end it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.